Previously, I set up record level permissions to control which property records the real estate agents on my team could access. So if I preview the app as one of my agents here, I can see that they only see property records that they are directly associated with. I set this up in the permissions area for the properties collection here. In other words, those with the agent user role should only be able to access properties where the property ID is one of the logged in users agents properties collection. Record level permissions like this is the most secure way to control what records a particular user is able to access. However, let's say we want to take it a step further, as opposed to just controlling what records the user can access. Let's say we want to control what particular fields on a given collection a user should be able to read, update, or create. And this is where field level permissions come in. Sometimes we might want to restrict whether a particular user should be able to create records. So for example, as a team admin, I want to be able to create records. However, I only want the agents on my team to be able to update their assigned properties, not to add new ones. To disable their ability to add new records to the properties collection, I'm going to toggle off this create toggle here and save this permission rule. And now those with the agents user role should not be able to create properties. So let's test this out. If I go back to the app, as the team admin user, I'm still able to click on the new properties button and be brought to the ready-made form to create new property records here. But if I go back and if I change user to one of my agents, I see that they only see their assigned property records and they no longer see the button to access the form to create new property records. Now let's go a step further. Sometimes we want to restrict whether a particular user can update certain fields. For example, this status field here showing the status of the property on the market. As a team admin, I want to be able to update this status field. However, maybe I want to set up an approval workflow so that my agents cannot update this field directly. So for those with the agent user role, I'm going to toggle off this update permission only on this status field here, meaning my agents can update all the other fields in the collection except this status field. I'm going to save that. So if I go back to the app here, if I click into one of these properties, when viewing as myself, I'm able to update the status of this property here. However, if I go back and preview the app as one of my agents and click into the same property, I can see that they no longer have permission to actually update the status. And if they go to edit this, you see the status field becomes read only for them. In other words, they're not able to edit it like some of the other fields here. Finally, let's say there's a particular field that I don't want those with the agents user role to see at all. And let's imagine this competitive market analysis file field is a file that shows all the different agents properties that are similar to the given property. And let's say for competitive reasons, I don't want everyone to be able to see each other's properties. I only want them to see their own. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is toggle off the read permission on that field for those with the agency's row. And that means that those with the agency's row will never see this field in the app. So I'm gonna save this here and let's test it out. So again, when previewing as myself, the team admin, I can see the competitive market analysis field here. But if I go back and if I want to preview the app as one of my agents. If I click into the same property field here, I notice that the competitive market analysis field is gone. And I can see that this field here, the competitive market analysis is toggled on, except the particular user that I'm previewing as right now, the user with the agent user role, does not have permission to view this field. So that's how you can use field level permissions in your NoLoco apps to control exactly which fields a particular user should have access to and whether they should be able to read, create or update those particular fields.